All right, so with this video, I want to do a bit of a discussion video, and these are my top Xbox 360 games I want to see become backwards compatible. And to start, uh, I want to go with the Risen Trilogy. So these are a trilogy of RPGs uh, made by Piranha Byte and you know they make some pretty good rpgs uh they're not like high budget or anything so so you know the voice acting could be a little iffy and the gameplay is kind of wonky but they're always usually pretty fun and i have a a big love and respect for for rpgs uh and, and especially like these kind of double A RPGs, maybe not the biggest ones out there, but still always a lot of fun. So the Risen Trilogy <clears throat> is one that I'd like to see. Same with Dark Sector. Uh, this is an awesome uh, like third person game. If you remember in this era, this was like the post Gears of War era. So so you had a, so a lot of games were, were doing these cool mechanics. And this one, he has like the Galv weapon, and and the shooting's a lot of fun. You know, the game is dark. I mean, a game called Dark Sector, of course, it's gonna be dark, and it's a lot of fun, and it's really awesome. And it's one that I I want to see backwards compatible. Next up, you know, if you played Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you're probably on a Vikings kick right now. And this game is awesome. It's brutal. Vikings battle for Asgard. Yeah, man. And and this was back in the era where Sega was making these cool, unique games. Uh, I, I really wish Sega could go back to making unique IPs like this. You know, we'll probably never see a sequel for this, but it was still dope as hell. And again, it's brutal. It's a brutal, like action adventure, action adventure game, man. And uh, I think if you, uh, uh, I think if you enjoyed Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you'd enjoy this game, which has a smaller scope, but it's still awesome and a ton of fun. <clears throat> All right, so one of my favorite, one of my favorite 360 games, another one from Sega, is from the RPG Legends Obsidian, who's now under the Microsoft. And I don't know, I don't know who owns the IP. I think Sega does. So I don't know if we'll ever see a sequel to this. But Alpha Protocol is an awesome, awesome, awesome RPG. It had some glitches here and there. Uh, but don't mind the glitches. This um this also does like all right, the, for example, the the way the way the way like you communicate with the NPCs and the like you know how games promise different endings? And don't always follow through. It kind of feels like it's still at the end of the day A, B, and C. This game, however, uh, the endings will there by like by the end of it, your how, how how your relationships with the different characters or the stuff you did does reflect on the end game. And this is another great RPG. And and again, this was like post Mass Effect era. So so so. So this kind of gives you that Mass Effect vibe, but in modern day, <clears throat> you know, spy, uh, spy espionage, like it says, the espionage RPG. But Alpha Protocol is one that I'd love to see backwards compatible. And then we got Wet from Bethesda. I thought that this game was backwards compatible, but then, but then when I put into my Xbox Series X and Xbox One, it said that it wasn't. Uh, so so tell me, I'm not the only one tripping, right? You who else thought that this was backwards compatible? I could have sworn it was, but apparently it's not. This game is amazing as well. Uh, it it uses like um, how can I explain the mechanic? You know, there's it uses like this different mechanic when you're playing. Uh, but yeah, Wet is an awesome fast paced shooter. I think I think if people gave it a shot. They'd really like it, man. I think this is one of those games that should have a cult following. I don't know why it does or doesn't. And then last but not least, another amazing game. Unfortunately, this game kind of flopped because it came out. I think this came out in either 2013 or 2014, around the time the the, the eighth generation consoles were coming out. So it was really hidden 
But uh, remember me, where you play as Nilin and Neo Paris, I believe. This game is another amazing game. Capcom's most unique game. They made it in a long time. This is another one I don't think we'll ever see a sequel for. And it's a real shame because Nilin is an awesome protagonist. Um, and, and, and you got to like figure things out with their story. The gameplay is really cool with the way you do combos. The music... The music in this game is surprisingly good and memorable. Like I remember, I still hum and sing some of the boss fights music from this game. Uh, this game is an absolute blast. Uh, it's a really dope uh, RPG style game. Oh, well, maybe not traditionally RPG, but it's really, really awesome. Again, this was the post Mass Effect era, so so you got so it's got this focus on like your cyberpunk. And, and, and your futuristic technology is the number one game I want backwards compatible is Remember Me. And if there are any other games that you want backwards compat, let me know and take care.